What's up you guys, Adorcus Knight here doing another action figure review, and this time on the Marvel Legends series, Avengers Build-A-Figure Thanos Taskmaster. Taking a look at the packaging over here, it's pretty much the exact same thing that we've seen with all the other uh, packaging for the Marvel Legends figures. Uh, other than the Avengers Infinity War series, you got the uh, Avengers down here at the bottom with Taskmaster. You got the purple highlights. You got a picture of Taskmaster on the side over here. Another picture over here. That looks really creepy. On the back over here, you got a picture of uh, Taskmaster over here. And then you got a little readout. And if you want to read it, just pause it now. And then on the bottom over here, you got all the figures inside this way that you need to collect in order to build Thanos. You got the build a figure Thanos there, some warnings at the bottom, copyright stuff. At the top, you got a little A for Avengers. And then at the very top, you got build a figure Thanos, and then some more warnings. So that's about it with the packaging. Let's get into this figure. Before we take a look at Taskmaster, let's take a look at, at some of his accessories. I got the black background over here because most of his accessories are white. So, uh, including with the figure as well, so it'll be easier to kind of look at it. Anyway, you can see, here's his sword over here that he comes with, and it has fairly nice details throughout. has no wash going through whatsoever, but you can see all the gold uh, sculpting and such, which really does look like a mid medieval type sword, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. Uh, then he also comes with this gun over here. So it's not looking too bad either. I do wish though that they did go, or they did, they did put some shading in. That would have looked a little bit better. But yeah, the sculpting does seem pretty nice. And then finally, you got a shield, which is all white, and it has the T over there for Taskmaster. And then the blue circles. The back over here, you got the little clip, so you can peg it in, or you can just stick it onto his hand. So, in order to demonstrate how this goes onto the figure, you got the figure's arm over here. And basically, all you need to do just stick it right on, like so. And then it's on there pretty well. It, won't, it doesn't seem like it's going to fall off. And then for the sword, he holds it fairly uh, well in the le uh, right hand. So, it's not too bad. It doesn't look like it's going to fall off. And then finally, for the gun that right in there and yeah it doesn't hold that too bad either Pretty nice. uh, in terms of storage on this figure for these uh, weapons uh, the, the gun can only go in the holster over here and you can see there's like a little hole in there right in there yeah so you just put the gun in there like so and there you go He's all armored up. And then, there's not really a place to put in the sword, but there is like a little hole at the back of his cape over here. So I like to uh, just put the sword in like so. Then, it holds it pretty well. And then in terms of the shield, you can pull the cape off over here. So, see the cape can come off. And I'll put his head back on. And basically, there's a peg at the back right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep. And uh, what you do is you flip this onto the pegging side and then stick that right in. And then holds on there pretty well. So that's a pretty cool looking task measure. You cannot put the cape over top of this because the shield's so big. Uh, and then if you want to put the sword in, I guess that you could just. Uh, I don't know if the sword can go in. I don't know, maybe just. Yeah, you can't really hold the sword in. So you can either choose between the shield, having the shield on his back, or having the cape and the sword on his back. So if it were me, I would just have the cape and the sword on his back. Uh, but that's about it with the, uh, the accessories. I'm going to put this cape back onto, onto this figure, and then we'll take a look at Taskmaster. Before we take a look at Taskmaster, there's one thing that I forgot to mention, and that is the uh, Build-A-Figure Thanos piece. And this is his uh, foot over here, his leg. So... Not looking too bad so far. Uh, I'm going to make a video soon to update whether or not I am going to build this entire guy. Uh, but anyway, taking a look at Taskmaster over here back with his cape on. Uh, let's take a look at the head sculpt first off. So, 
So it's not a bad looking head sculpt whatsoever. I really do like uh, the skeleton that they put in. It looks very nice. Uh, I, I don't know if this is really accurate to any comic book series or whatsoever, but the skeleton does look pretty cool in this figure. It makes it very cool looking. So you can see the sculpting throughout with the white uh, hood over here. So yeah, you can see it, there's a little bit of gapage between the cape and the hood. And in terms of the cape, not looking too bad whatsoever. It's a really cool looking long cape. So, yeah. Uh, he's got the orange in the back over here, in the inside of the cape. In terms of sculpting throughout, you got this little chain over here to hold the cape together. Uh, you got some abs over there. You got the bicep, some gloves. Just kind of hard to see. Let's see if it'll. Yeah, you can get. It. You guys can see that. Pretty nice looking. And then you got the belt over here. The underwear. Some more belts. These are uh, movable because they're all separate pieces. So that's one thing I forgot to mention as well. You can put this cape up over here. There's a Taskmaster butt. And then legs, the little cuffs at the top, and one thing I also want to mention as well is that there's a peg at the back of the cable over here which allows it to peg inside of the hole right here so it has a better, uh, so it can hold onto the figure a little bit better, but it does pop out a lot, so uh, here's looking at the feet once again, the little boots and things down, you guys can see this sculpting a little better, you can see that there's pegles at the bottom of the feet. Yeah, all the sculpting on the boots and such. Yeah, not bad looking. There's articulation. It's just about the exact same thing uh, with all the other Marvel Legends figures. His head can move up about that much, can move down, move side to side. There's a bit of pivot. His arms can go about that much, he can go forward, back, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. You can't really move in that much because of this. Uh, uh, glove over here. You got a you got a swivel at the wrist. You can move up and down. He's got an ab crunch, which can move in about that much. Can't really move back with the cape, but without the cape, you can move him back at about. Oh, can't really move back whatsoever. Uh, he, he can't kick forward. Can't kick back. There's a waist swivel. Uh, he can do the splits. Uh, there's thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Oof. I feel like I'm going to break this thing. And then the feet can move up, down, and there is some ankle pivot in there. So here's a comparison with some other comic book characters. We got the uh, exclusive Walgreens exclusive Punisher over here, which is part of the Absorbing Man wave. It was just an exclusive, so it's different from the rest. And then we got the Hobgoblin Spider Man action figure over here that came with the pizza. So. Then finally, here's Taskmaster next to all the other figures inside this wave that I've already reviewed. So, final thoughts on this figure over here. I do think that uh, Taskmaster is a pretty good figure overall. The, this probably has to be the best figure out of the wave that I've reviewed thus far. Um, and for the reason that is because I just like the colors with the blue, orange, and uh, white all together. It, it just... It, it makes it stand out in your collection very well. I really do like the head sculpt as well. Uh, the sword could have had some shading in it, but not really complaining. Uh, the shield is fine. Uh, the gun, I think, also needs shading as well. And uh, sculpting overall is pretty good in general. And uh, yeah, the, the cape is also pretty nice as well. So overall, pretty, pretty good action figure. If I were to give it a score rating, it would probably be around 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. Uh, the reason why it's not all already 10 out of 10 is because uh, A, it's just a cheap plastic figure, so you're not really, like it can break easy. It hasn't broken on me, but I'm just saying in general it can break easy. Um, but then also, I'm not too familiar with this character, although I do think that this is a really cool looking figure. But anyway guys, let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. Leave a like rating and subscribe because there's going to be more Infinity War uh, content coming up. So anyway guys, this has been Dorcas Knight and I'll see you guys later. Spider-Man, I've come to... <coughs> <coughs>